Hey everybody and welcome to part 2 of Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Duel Academy. I'm Nostalgia Scott and since my internet randomly went down during the middle of playing World of Warcraft, like literally there was no sign or like notice that there was being cut and I apologize if the mic made a click, I was moving it back a little bit. Like I have no idea. So anyways, let's find a new opponent to duel. Uh, not the shop. Can't duel Alexis yet because I do believe we are too weak, so I guess we'll just check out the Slifer Dorm. And we'll fight Cyrus Truesdale. Hey Scott, let's duel! Don't take me lightly just because I'm not as skilled as my brother. We don't even know who his brother is, but his brother is Zane Truesdale. It's not like it's a spoiler alert in this game. Excuse me, you literally just fight him out of the blue. Now even Cyrus, while he is I believe the weakest duelist in the entire game, he still carries cards like Mirror Force and all that. Spiritual Fire Art Kunai. You know what? I want him to attack in. And that'll be the end of turn. Let's see what he does. I apologize too if you can hear my chair squeak. I don't have a gaming chair yet, so it's kind of annoying. Graceful Charity. Are we illegally allowed to use that in this game? I know there is a weekly or monthly ban list in this game. So sometimes you don't get to use certain things. Ah, Dekoichi. 1400 attack point train. Well, you're gonna go chugga chugga bye bye. Oh! Man eater bug, you know what to do, boy. Five face downs? That, that doesn't seem right, man. Alright, well, let's see. You're technically low on attack, let's summon. No? Torrential Tribute. No, that, that won't work. It'll still allow him to be destroyed. So you know what? Just in case he does summon a monster, we're gonna play that so we can flip into face down defense mode. Nope, he has a weird obsession with these uh, face down cards. Inconsistent Ordeal. A Blazing Apache. No. No, nothing? Okay. One of those is probably either Mirror Force or um, Magic Cylinder. There's a chance that they could be Negate Attack as well. Well, here's something. Negate Attack. Oh, yeah, that's not really that much of a threat then. No, I don't want to activate my Book of Moon, thank you. Uh, it's going to ask me so many times. Like, literally. No, no, no. I don't want to, I don't want to activate anything. Stop asking me. Dude, why do you have so many face downs? Like, if I had Heavy Storm, I could totally wreck you right now. Burning Spear. You know what? Let's summon Twin Headed Fire Dragon. Tribute. Roar! Ah, uh, what do we got? Trap Hole? I believe we can avoid that with Book of Moon. I do believe. Now we also get our first chain, I believe. I believe that's our first chain in the game. Maybe our second, I'm not entirely sure. Magic Jammer, I'm assuming. Yep. And he discarded a spell card. No! Well, that sucks. Hopefully he doesn't get like Steamroid or something, which is one of his good cards. Oh my god, are you seriously kidding me now? He just gets that kind of luck. The thing goes to 2300 attack points if it attacks an opponent's monster. Uh, but if it's attacked, I think it goes to 1300. I think it loses 500. Backfire. Spiritual Fire Art Kurenai. None of these really work well. So we're going to take some damage here. Activate Backfire. That way, anytime he destroys a fire time monster, he takes 500 points of damage. Oh, go figure. I'm gonna need something buffed up with both my Black Pendant and my Burning Spear. Upstart Goblin, okay. Get me a monster card. Hmm. Giant True Nade. Hmm. 
You know, this is just, this is just like the ultimate troll right now. Like it really honestly is. All right, we'll activate this again. And here comes the black pen. Okay, we literally have one turn left to try and survive this. If we don't draw a fire monster, we lose. We literally lose because of the fact that we drew so many spawn trap cards. The entire duel. Like, oh man. Yeah, and I get it that you put counters in your deck. Anyway, let's duel Chumley. We're both in Slate for Red! Why not? And we'll duel. I apparently my internet just need to be rebooted because now I'm getting my Facebook messages, but I'll deal with that afterward. Miss, I always lose. And I always go first. Come on, at least have some better support here. No Book of Moon. That card turned out to be useless. We got Inferno. That's actually a good card. If it can attack. Ah, oh, Book of Moon. UFO, Turtle, Red Eyes, Black Dragon, Inferno. Upstart Goblin to start things off with. Don't worry, my deck isn't always going to be fire monsters. But. There we go. Just in case he does something, uh, summon something that we can destroy in face down defense mode, we'll use Book of Moon. Death Kangaroo, 1700. No. You know what? Just so he doesn't get off an attack, this. Actually, you know what? No. I want him to get off the attack, because then I can special summon Inferno. As well as another monster from the deck using UFO Turtle's ability. There we go. Activate effect. Will you chain? No, I don't want to activate Book of Moon. Thank you very much. Um, ultimate Baseball Kid, Charcoal and Patchy, Lady Assailant of Flames, Thing in the Crater. Um, honestly, at this rate, let's grab Little Baseball, or Ultimate Baseball Kid. He can become useful. And then we'll just uh, pop this because you know what? Honestly, Book of Moon is just gonna sit here trolling me literally the entire time. So let's get rid of it. Three face down. Oh, why do these guys get so many face downs? Special Hurricane. Oh wait, that destroys special monsters, I believe, right? Special summon monsters. Yeah, destroy all special summon monsters on the dragon. Double Man of Extermination. Destroy! Oh, Magic Jammer. Yeah, we all get what Magic Jammer does. Oh, he also discarded a monster card. Okay, that's that's good to know. I'll special summon you. He can't destroy you, which is good. Special summon you in attack mode. Torrential Tribute, right? I'm fine with that, I guess. Because why I say that is never mind. I thought I had a monster in my hand. I do, but they're both tribute summons. One's a level six and one's a level seven. Sparks, the most useless spell card in existence. Two hundred points of light point damage. That is like so bad. Actually, I kind of hope I draw inconsistent ordeal and then our ritual monster because that would actually be beneficial. There you go. 1100, not the best, but at least we can get Meteor uh, Dragon out after this. Unless it's like... Air Force, yep. Like, this is so BS. Like, the fact that they get all these good cards to start off with and you literally have cards like Sparks in your deck. Ah, uh, the thing is 1100 attack points. For a minute, I thought it was Dez Wombat. Oh, that's gonna hurt. It's now at 1400. I kept thinking it was Dead Swamp, but that at 1600. I'm like, that is way worse. Okay, anyways, let's see what we got going on. Now we get Trap Hole, really? And the fact that it's not special summon, we can't even destroy it with that. We can't even destroy that. Okay, Blazing and Patchy. Okay, I think we can actually win this now because, you know, we have the highest attack points. 
Uh, honestly, right now I'm going to attack Manator Bug though, just to get off the most damage. 1400. We'll destroy your koala later. Really, you just have Snatch Steel to beat me, right? Kangaroo Champ. Okay, we might actually lose this still. Magician of Faith. Uh, we lose, yeah. You know, let's just forfeit. Oh man, that was so bad. Let's go to sleep. Sunday, where do we go today? Card shop's not open, so let's get a rematch against Chumley. Hey Huffington, let's fight. And we're gonna go first, right? That has literally been the last three duels. Come on, no sparks. As soon as we get some packs, we're getting rid of that stuff. We really are. Dark Fire, Ultimate, UFO, Spirit, Legendary, Spark. Wow, Sparks! At this rate. Do that. I always forget, like, on the first turn, it doesn't have anything special that you gotta go through. You don't need dialogue. You don't need to have Grilled Cheese Sandwiches. You're already too obese. Okay, you're honestly not going to be able to destroy me. You're going to gain a thousand life points. Beach Snatch Steal. Oh, Gaia Power, you can actually beat us now. Which suck. Wait, no, you're a Dark type. You're not even Earth. Why would you do that? Why would he? It was very questionable. Oh, that is too good. That is too good. Uh... What about this card? For each fire monster on the card on the field other than this card. So right there he's gonna be at 1500. See what I mean? Like he's a good card. I don't need to know UFO turtles effect. Go up, oh, thank you. Right. Why does it why does it keep going down? Like that is really weird. Anyways. Let's attack. Destroy him. Worst case scenario, we just summon our ritual card, which I do want to do in this battle. I'm just scared that he has Snatch Steel now that I know that he has it for sure. Another 1500. 6900, the magical thousand point number. Thousand digit, I, I don't know, I don't even know. Frenzied Panda only has 1200, can't beat anything I have. Oh, wait. Oh, for some reason, it wasn't showing up that it had increased attack points. I'm like, is it Earth-type? Alright, let's see. Let's just go with the little Chimera for some increased attack points. Alright, now I think we just gun him down here. Uh, Inconsistent Ordeal. You know what? Wait, how many is that? Level six? How many? How many do I need? There's decide. If I don't, darn it, that's not actually what I meant to do. Level seven. Oh no, I couldn't have done it with them anyway. Okay. Alright, so you have 1700. Wow, you are honestly my weakest card, man. Well, that can destroy him. That's 1200 points right there. Ah, your frenzy panda is toast. There we go, 3000. Oh, solid. Ah, you should have stayed in bed, fool. No one can beat us, even though we've been beaten twice in a row. In this game, you seriously gotta play really safe. 
And I will be doing the tutorials and like the trials. So don't worry. Pot of greed. Could you imagine if computers would literally just forfeit? Graceful charity. Hmm, could be Mirror Force. Which would be a worrisome card, but. Let's go with Black Pendant. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Nice, solid attack points. No. Why does it start there? Every other game in existence literally allows you to click attack. Please don't be Mirror Force. Yep, there's Mirror Force. Uh, right, the fact that I knew it was Mirror Force 2 sucked so bad. Man Eater Bug. There's Kangaroo Champ. Okay, I think we're still in this to win it. And Beast Bangs. It's really pumping up that Kangaroo Champ. Magician of Faith. I really don't feel like you're going to be useful, so I'm going to activate that, and then get rid of. My Magician of Faith to then destroy Kangaroo Champ. There, now all he has is that Man-Eater Bug left. Why did it act like it was going to be such an epic attack? It was a Man-Eater Bug attacking me. No. Dude. No, I don't want to use that. Dude, me activating it will just cause me to have issues. So expect a lot of speed up in this video, like through uh, Movie Maker and stuff, because yeah, you're not gonna wanna watch this thing trigger all the time. Oh okay, yeah, now I can finally actually use it for the good of mankind. Also, I believe his defense is lowered. No, he's dark type. Darn it. Man, at that point I should have just activated it earlier. Oh, Blazing Apache, thank the heavens. No. Alright, let's do this. Attack that man-eater bug again. No. And then I believe to win this, what we're gonna want to do is activate this. I believe this does half of its attack. Yeah, equal to... No, equal to the original, yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, that was... I could have just won with that, but you never know what they were going to have. Whew. I think in the next episode, guys, we're going to eventually go to the store. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Bye-bye.